you know, a lot of us have gone through some hard things. I know I grew up in a home where my father was an alcoholic. I grew up in a lot of poverty, a lot of um, sorrow. I didn't get the love and attention I needed as a child should. And my mother um, was always gone working, always gone doing all these things. And um, my father ended up passing away from alcoholism. My mother ended up passing away also because of just the sinful lifestyle she was living in. And so after that abandonment, you know, things would be hard. And you'd think that I would live the rest of my life as that victim. But you know what happened to me that was different than other people? I met Jesus. And the day, the day that I met Jesus... All that junk that I had gone through and all the junk that I had did, all the stuff that I had lived years in shame of regret and just feeling like this dirty, dirty thing, like God took it away and Jesus told me that he had forgiven me, that all the things that I had done wrong and all the junk that I had grown up with. And it's like the day I believed on him, I saw like this waterfall from heaven of grace in this living water, this pure, beautiful water. And it just washed me clean of all the shame I had grown up in my entire life and all the mistakes and all the things that happened to me and all the things that I had even done. All of it, he washed away and he said, as far as the east is from the west, so has he removed all of my sin from me. That he doesn't even remember it anymore. He's forgotten it. So for years, like, I, I couldn't even really talk to God. I felt like there was this huge chasm of separation between me and God. I couldn't really, like, I knew, I knew there was a God. I knew he was good, but I felt so separated from him. But when I believed on Jesus... Jesus took all my sin, all the stuff that separated from it, from from me with God, and He took it, and He, he was an offering. He sacrificed. He was the sacrifice. He took all the sin on Himself, and He was the ultimate sacrifice. So now that I believed on Him, the separation is gone. So now I can talk to God every day. I can talk to Him and give Him stuff every day when problems arise. I just can lay it at the feet of the Lord and he takes it away. I don't have to worry anymore. I don't have to be a victim of the situations that happen in life. And sure, life still happens. Things things in this world happen, but I have such a different um, view now because now that I believed on Jesus, my spirit, I'm seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I'm seated up there with him. And now that I'm now that that is there, now that when things happen and problems arise, they don't affect me anymore. I'm not a victim of situations. I have a peace in God that is beyond my world. And so now when things happen, I can speak peace into situations. I can speak life because I have that living waters, like rivers of living water in me. And I'm a new, I'm a new person in him. I'm not a victim anymore. And I'm not this poverty person. I'm a child of the king. I'm a, I'm a daughter of the king. And so I just encourage you guys, if you feel like you're going through this just rat race of life, of just problems and problems, and you just feel like you keep struggling, keep struggling, and you can't get over the depression, or you can't get over the suicidal thoughts, or you can't get over, I just encourage you, try something different. Try calling on Jesus. It says in the Word that He is the Prince of Peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Call on Jesus, and when you call on God, He will answer you. And when you believe on Jesus, he wants to set you free from all the mistakes. And maybe some of you are a believer. You are, you do believe on Jesus, but you feel like you've just been living under guilt. I just want to pray for you today because God wants to set you free from that guilt. It says we need to remind each other daily of the truth. We need to remember what Jesus has done for us. And some of you guys, y'all just need to reset in your mind. You need to remember what Jesus did. And it's not by your own works that you're saved, but it's by his grace. So Holy Spirit, I just pray for my friends out here um, that are watching this video, God. If any of them feel like they're just struggling with just hauntings even from their past of things they wish they would have done differently or things that happened to them or they're just holding on to the past of anger towards a person that did something to them. God, Lord, I just speak freedom over them today. So whoever you are out there, just whatever that stuff is deep within the deep part of your heart, that haunting that you've just been holding on to or that you feel gripped by, I just want you to like 
just like put it in your hand right now. And I want you to just kind of like give it to God right now. Just say, God, I give this to you. I give this to you. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. Thank you that you've taken it away. Lord, I just pray for whoever is giving you that junk right now, God. I just thank you that you take it away and you nailed it at the cross. And you say it is finished. I just thank you for sweet freedom and peace washing over those people right now. That the sin that separated them from you, Lord, you remember no more. I just speak deep freedom within the depths of them. Deep forgiveness. I just thank you, Lord, that for the rivers of living water that's running through them now, that you have made them a, a, new, a new creation in you, Lord, that they are a new being, that the old is gone and the new is come. Yeah, Lord, and I just thank you for the divine uh, plans that you have for them. A lot of them have been feeling like they don't have worth in this earth. But God, I thank you that you have such mighty plans for them. Plans to prosper them and not to harm them. Plans to give them a hope and a future in you. So I just speak supernatural hope over them right now. And Lord, I, supernatural destiny, supernatural peace. And God, I just thank you that just like the prodigal son who was in shame and in darkness and had made all those mistakes in his life, had squandered everything that God had given him, that he ran to you, God, and that you had your arms open and you accepted your son back and you put on him that the robe of righteousness and you gave him that ring uh, as being a son, Lord, and you celebrated and you threw a huge feast for him. So God, I just thank you that right now that your children are coming home and you are throwing a huge feast right now. That There are many angels rejoicing right now, praising the Lord that who was lost has now been found. Thank you, Father, that your child has come home. Thank you, Lord, that, that their name is now written in the Lamb's book of life that they will spend eternity with the Lord, that they don't have to wait till they get to heaven to have peace, that now that they're going to start walking with you and knowing you, they can have peace on this earth right now, Lord. I just thank you for victory in your name, that, that this is a victory that has overcome the world, our faith in you, Lord, trusting in you. I just thank you for victory coming into people's lives. Victory is flooding into their homes right now. Freedom from sickness right now, healing, freedom uh, from terrors of the night, peace in their dreams, peace in their sleep, God, um, just peace in their relationships, just supernatural love coming out of them that people that they couldn't love before, they're going to have a supernatural love for right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that they are, that they are overcomers in you, Lord that you are their strength, that it's not on their own strength that they will be victorious, but it's on your strength, Lord. I just thank you that um, it, that we depend on you, we lean on you, and you will strengthen them in Jesus' name. So God, I just thank you for supernatural strength going out into people right now, and I just thank you for, for your sweet forgiveness, God. I thank you that you have forgiven them and that they are new today. I speak peace over them in Jesus' name. And... Um, we just love you so much, God. We just praise you for this victory. We praise you for victory in the name of Jesus. We love you so much, God. We seal this all in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. Well, bless you guys. I pray you guys are blessed, and I will see you soon.